Hi everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swan. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bowl cozy. It's very easy and fun to make, very nice for gifting or to use around the house. Let me show you how. It's also reversible. You can get two looks out of each of them if you are using two different fabrics. We're curious about the fabric because you guys always ask me about it. I'm using the Island Boutique. I adore this collection. This one is called Surf Squirt. I showed you these before in a separate uh, haul uh, video. It's just gorgeous. And I used some from this one. It's also Island Boutique and it's called Spring Zing. You will need two pieces of 10 inch square for each bowl for this part for this part two pieces of the 10 inch square fabric and two matching pieces of quilt batting you will need your scissors or your rotary cutter you will need some pins a marking tool of your choice you will need a rounding tool you can use a bowl like this one or if you have a rounding uh, ruler I, I have this one from Creative Grids Place each of the 10 inch square fabric on the batting piece if you have a pasting spray then like you <laughs> use some I don't have so you can just uh, stabilize it uh, temporarily with some pins and you will need to draw a line uh, with uh, with your marking tool from the corner to corner making a big X letter and just draw the, the line as a guiding one for you to sew on from this corner to the opposite and from that corner to the opposite one okay here are my lines they are maybe not showing in camera because they are very light color but your marker should be showing them to you so I will pin and then I get to the sewing machine and just sew this big X quilt batting both can shift a little bit while sewing so it's a good idea to really paste or baste or, um, or pin there you go and we do the same to the other piece to your sewing machine and sew the big X again of the of the piece we are going to make to take marks uh, where we are going to place our darts darts is what gives it the shape of a ball these are the darts so we'll take marks we'll fold a half And we will measure an inch from this side and two inch inside we will do this on both sides on the right and on the left there we go here is one inch And here is the two inch mark one inch mark two inch mark and we will just connect them with a line this way and this will be where we, we are going to sew the dart we'll do the same to the side We'll do the same to the other side one inch 
at the open side and two inch to the side on fold and we will just connect them with a straight line. There you go. Now take it to your sewing machine and remember to backstitch at the beginning and the end. Now what I did is that I took the four marks first which means fold it again on the other side because you need four darts for each ball and repeat with this side here and this side there here is how it looks now it takes the bull shape when we do the second pair so just pin again and sew the second pair and there you go standing alone now do just the same with the other piece same with the other piece now we need now we need the edges so we will fold it this way and we will take the marks on fold just uh, any ball just make sure it it lies between the two edges because w if it lies between the two edges it is easier to get the same curve for all the edges and all of your on all of your balls so just make sure it is small enough or it fits between this edge and this edge How far should I go inside or around the bull? Place the ruler at the edge, at the straight edge of uh, the, the piece and just take a mark at the two and a quarter of an inch point and here where you stop. Take the same mark at the other side, one to and a quarter of an inch and here is where your line starts and there where it ends and, and I think that is a bit too fluffy for this project but this is just the only the one and only kind of batting I can get where I am so if you are you so if you are you uh, cotton 100% cotton batting uh, something from a warm and natural company or something like that this will be much smoother for you pin to cut accurate the both layers and just go repeat the same for the two sides for two pieces and then and the shape for the four corners now now with just a quarter of an inch beside your stitches there you go now right sides together and place one inside the other make sure make sure nicely inside and most important to match the seams use a pin and just go through both seams matching them do this with all the dart points I matched the seams and I added additional pins to keep both together and now you need to put a mark for the opening so you can flip it out after you finish sewing. You will sew around from the beginning mark to the end mark to the stop mark with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. There you go, here is the start mark for me and there is the stop mark and you must backstitch at the beginning and the end. Here we are, now I'm just flipping it out from the opening 
There you go. I will give it a good press, especially the edges. I hope you could see how the seams match nicely. which really helps in giving it a nice finished look. Here it is pressed. Now pin the opening closed. Just match it with the, the sewing you have and sew all around. Sew an inch from the edge, from the outer edge and don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and at the end because this is the, the closing the stitching of the ball. All finished and seams are matching nicely. I hope you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on different social media subscribe to my channel to catch up with every single time I upload a video and activate the bell icon so you get notified and I will see you next time thanks for watching